Hazardous chemicals. They can be found practically everywhere on the job site and in many commonly used products. There are several different types of chemical hazards. There are toxic chemicals that can have a poisonous effect on a person. There are carcinogenic chemicals, believed to cause cancer after exposure. There are corrosive chemicals, causing visible destruction or alterations. There are irritants, chemicals causing an inflammatory effect. And sensitizers, chemicals causing an allergic reaction in tissues. There are also flammable liquids, that emit vapors that may catch fire, and there are combustible liquids that combust after being exposed to high temperatures. These chemicals may cause physical damage to the body. They can have chronic effects, a disease that develops over time, or acute effects, symptoms that appear or change rapidly. There are a variety of ways in which chemicals can be exposed to the body. The primary methods of entry are inhalation, a chemical entering the body through breathing, absorption, skin contact with a chemical, and ingestion, eating or drinking of a chemical. Chemical safety begins with a written hazard communication program, which covers how chemical hazards will be addressed on the job site, and will include a list of all hazard chemicals present in the workplace. All workers who may be exposed to hazardous chemicals should review the program. There are two primary methods to communicating chemical safety information. One, ensuring containers of hazardous chemicals are properly labeled, and two, maintaining safety data sheets, or SDSs, which are sources of detailed information on the hazardous chemical. Labels provide an immediate warning of hazards. Product manufacturers are required to provide labels on all shipped containers with information, including product identifier or product name, signal words like danger or warning, hazard statements like fatal if inhaled, hazard pictograms that alert users of the chemical hazards to which they may be exposed. Each pictogram consists of a symbol on a white background framed within a red border and represents a distinct hazard, such as a health hazard, flammable, corrosive, toxic, and irritant. Precautionary statements like do not eat, drink, or smoke when using this product. And lastly, the name, address, and phone number of the responsible party. It's important to ensure that all containers on the job site are clearly labeled, so you know exactly what is in the container. A battered or old label might be hard to read. If this is the case, make sure to replace the existing label with a new one that includes the product name and general information concerning the hazards of the chemical. In addition, if you're transferring something from the manufacturer's container to your own container, it must be labeled unless you plan to use up all the product and the container will be empty at the end of the day. Then you don't need to label it for that day. SDS stands for Safety Data Sheet. Safety data sheets serve as the source of detailed information on a particular hazardous chemical. It's required that all product manufacturers and distributors provide safety data sheets to its users. If you didn't receive an SDS form from your supplier, you should request one or visit their website to download. SDSs have a uniform format and are divided into 16 sections. The SDS contains important information, such as the chemical's health hazards and flammability, first aid and firefighting measures, precautions for safe handling and storage, appropriate engineering controls, personal protective equipment, PPEs needed, and emergency procedures for spills. All SDSs must be readily accessible to workers when they're on the job site. Storing your SDS sheets in a binder in a central location where easily accessible, for instance in a pickup truck on a construction site, is a common practice. The SDSs can also be kept on a phone, tablet, or computer, as long as the workers have immediate access to the information when it's needed. Also, in the event of a medical emergency, hard or physical printed copies of the SDS must be made available immediately to medical personnel. Finally, follow the appropriate safe practices when working with any hazardous chemicals. Familiarize yourself with chemical hazards on your job site, as there may be more than one hazard for each type of product. Before working with a product, read the safety information on the label and the safety data sheet. Use the proper personal protective equipment, such as gloves, eye and face protection, aprons and respirators. Chemicals should always be kept in their original container and stored in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Keep flammable and combustible chemicals away from heat sources. Dispose of any excess product correctly, not down the drain. Spills should be cleaned up immediately. When working with corrosives, 
An eye wash or shower must be readily available for immediate emergency use. If chemical exposure has occurred, the worker should seek the appropriate medical care. Workers using chemicals should wash thoroughly before eating, drinking, smoking, and leaving the job site. Chemicals are found all over the job site, and some of them are more hazardous than others. Container labels and safety data sheets will give you information about the hazardous materials with which you work. Pay close attention to the hazard warnings listed and always follow the manufacturer's safe handling, use, and storage of all products and chemicals.